What's up guys, Cage is here. I'm going to continue the series of Dishonored with Dishonored 2, a title that came out last year, November I believe. Um, particularly going to be very interested with this story following up Dishonored 1. I think we're going to play Corvo's daughter, which is probably her right here. And the man standing is probably Corvo himself, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna put up a full gameplay with no mic commentary as just the main reason for not having uh, much time due to my work commitments and I have plenty of other titles to catch up with like Witcher 3, Dark Souls 3, um, F1 2017, Formula 1 2017. I'm lacking a little bit of uh, racing games in my channel but I try to balance it out with a few other genres here and there but I've been focusing mainly on action RPGs and adventure games but um, I'm definitely interested to put some more racing games in there like uh, Formula 1. It's probably one of my favorite uh, racing titles. I'm also going to continue uh, the Tomb Raider series with the next title, Rise of the Tomb Raider. So I may do that one with no commentary. Depends on how much time I have with uh, video editing. I'm also interested to put up State of Decay 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition. Now a lot of these titles that I mentioned were plans from last year. And um, I apologize guys since I really just don't get much time while working full time in a work. Trying to uh, work my way around it, but I still do love making gameplay content. And with Dishonored 2, I'm gonna make a full gameplay, non commentary video, so it's gonna be a full walkthrough of the game itself with my own uh, experience. So it should be, should be fun. Don't forget to always give me a thumbs up guys if you enjoyed watching my videos, it really does help me a lot. If you really do enjoy my content, do support me with a subscribe, and I'll do my best to continue making. Uh, high quality gameplay videos for you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start the campaign. Enjoy the show, guys. I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Never doubted I could make that. Have to sprint. Bolt the obstacle, then slide under. Yes. What's next? Only I could spend every day running and jumping. <sighs> now to test my agility. Come to me. You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Sneak up on me, if you can. 
father's always on about the value of quiet feet. you if you're above them, overhead. Stay low and out of your enemy's line of sight. Didn't see anything at all. In the words of Corvo Atano, hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Yes. You hit hard. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. You're quick. Smart move. Block with your blade. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Of an assassination. 
Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer. Eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Circonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Circonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. 
All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the crown killer murder. What? But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily! What happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. No! Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father! Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Sir, how long is it going to take, Captain Ramsey? Hold your horses, Corporal Dial. Ramsey knows what he's doing. The man's moving up in the world. He's old blood. One of the good families. And now that he's helped the rightful Empress take the throne... These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Sirkonos. You'd be smart to remember that. Damn it. I need to pee. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. some sort of witch. How is this possible? Lady Emily, you're all right. Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... he's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. 
get out of Dunwall. Alexi, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Signet ring. This reminds me of good times with friends, with Wyman. All gone now. room blocked off we should have the time we need just stay here and stall anyone who comes by i'll be back when i've searched the royal chambers assuming i don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room we'll cover for you if anyone from the duke's party returns huh, this is exciting everything's changing yes the natural order is reasserting itself the ramses once hosted the king and queen of morley did you know that I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsay's family fell from the aristocracy and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsay is too dangerous to be left in play. Who that was. Um, person. <laughs> 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 
don't even know what's up. I don't know. I don't know. I can just... Huh? What the? What happened here? Be on your guard, right, boys? <coughs> Nothing, damn it. Look everywhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Found anything yet? No use hiding. I know the tower as well as you do. Can't escape. I could swear I saw something. No. Father, I don't know how, but I'll make this right. I promise. won't leave my hand again. Anton Sokolov made this lock. I spent so many nights in here after the rat plague. I'll need this. The Crown Killer must be connected to all this, with the Duke and Delilah. I have a feeling I'll need these. Reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. I'd better take these. 